Receiver, test, evolution. It's stressful, energetic, and also fulfilling. Clinical, uh, passionate, dynamic. Engineering, functional support, research and development. Deployment of tracking stations to Arctic sites. And this is a very interesting thing because there we face uh, problems which are not very common for an engineer. For example, the seasons and snow and things like that. Galileo is the global satellite navigation system for Europe. And uh, it's a very exciting moment now for Galileo because it's going through the full operational capabilities and it's also undergoing towards the second generation. Uh, there's people who is working on electrical domain, on power domain, on thermal aspects, mechanical aspects. So it's a very diverse uh, team. Destec, it's a very big site, very um, fantastic here because we have uh, many labs, many people working in different fields, dis different disciplines. We do not do the coding, we don't do we don't work with the actual material, we do not build the things physically with our hands. But what we do is we sit at a very high level in the pyramid of technology, so we can steer where the entire technology for something is going, like, for example, building the Galileo satellite navigation system. You can actually get to see things that eventually will fly in space and will get serve uh, other people, but all the work that you have to do in between is very exciting. I continue to learn and, and I feel to be privileged to work in a place where I work with the most knowledgeable people and in very advanced facilities. But what I like specifically is beside the pure technical meetings where we, where we have to just organize a thing, I really like the brainstorming sessions I have with my colleagues, for example at a break in the morning or after lunch. And the, the really good ideas, they always come out of this and they always come from the whiteboard. I studied bachelor degrees in computer science and a master's degree in telecommunications engineering. I studied telecommunication engineer and it was during my PhD that I got to know ISA and I started then to, to join both as a student here at the beginning and then I was recruited. Um, I started my career in the United Kingdom in the satellite uh, operations company and later I joined the agency. I did a PhD and I was embedded in a company which builds satellites, which was a very exciting experience. And then also this sort of gave me a lot of context to ESA. And then eventually a, a colleague actually just made me aware of a job and said, look, really, this job is really you. I applied and, and that was 10 years ago and now I'm here. It surprises me the, the knowledge of the people, the capability to handle these complex programs that uh, we have. Yeah, it has been really an eye-opening um, that ESA has so many programs and, uh, and we can work on uh, various uh, different programs and I myself of course have worked in telecommunication, earth observation and, uh, and navigation. So it has been a privilege to be able to do this. When we switched on the Galileo system and we actually got, it actually worked. Yeah, and this was, this is a bit, we also have this with the launch, so every single time we launch a satellite then it actually works. But after 20 satellites, this kind of becomes a routine. But when the whole system actually worked and we could actually navigate with the telephone ourselves, made by us, that was pretty cool. Especially now with the COVID situation, I think the best memories are when uh, we could meet, we could go all together and discuss, um, brainstorming, um, and, uh, and then of course the success when uh, we see our uh, research coming uh, through and uh, success of launches and uh, so there are many memories. It was possible to recover uh, two satellites that uh, went into a slightly wrong orbit. The satellites were recovered for service and at the same time allowing some scientific progress and, and then this being recognized with an ESA team award was very exciting. I am also an active member of the um, wine club, the sailing club, uh, music club, the DIY club. So the after work part um, and obviously I, I hope after COVID we can uh, retain that. I was not expecting the, um, the amount of multicultural um, and different people working in ESA has been a challenge quite sometimes but, uh, but yes it's a, it's a very good experience. I think people who join ESA or who apply to ESA should be aware of the fact that it is a very political institution and that it sits at 
high levels of the government and if they come from a company, especially a small company, which is producing and, and doing stuff or a startup, the change of work logic and the same change of philosophy to ESA is quite strong. The importance of speaking many languages. I did not pay much attention uh, to, to learning languages apart from, from English and my own. I'm trying to catch up, but I would have uh, spent more time if I knew. ISA is looking for um, applicants at any stage of your career. So whether you are a young graduate trainee, a PhD that wants to fulfill his research or a very experienced people, look at the post. Perhaps when you are studying an engineering degree, you wonder why you have to follow all that algebra, all that uh, fundamental physics. If you would like to apply that, uh, this is an opportunity for you. I think it's a great idea because you have an impact on programs like, for example, Galileo or Copernicus, which you have in no other place in the world. But having this impact means also that you have the responsibility and that you have to deal with other people, with other stakeholders very much interested in these projects. And in this environment, this you have to like. Just follow your dreams. I also was not thinking that I was able to join the agency, being a Thai national, and um, one thing led to another. I was able to get the um, uh, European citizenship, then I could join the agencies. And a message for girls and women, ISA is promoting gender equality, and um, it's a great place to work, so submit your application. And I wish you all the best, and then hope to see you also one day at ESTEC. Thank you.